Hi guys, this is Lauren from Essex Market. Thanks again for joining me this week. This week we're gonna talk about sugar. I know we've talked a lot about sugar and today we're gonna go even more in depth. Specifically, we're gonna talk about the difference between added sugar and natural sugar. A lot of what we talk about this week is gonna build off of last week's video, video number two, which was called Snack Attack. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I suggest you go back to our YouTube page and look for the video called Snack Attack. So here's what you're gonna need today. As usual, we're gonna need a pencil and paper, and remember, markers, colored pencils, and crayons are really great to work with when we're together here. And then I'm also gonna need you to find a sugary packaged food product. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm gonna talk about it more in the video, but basically we're gonna to need to find something in our kitchen that we think is probably high in sugar and comes in some sort of box or package. So before we start looking at real foods that we have at home, I wanna talk about two types of sugar, added sugar versus natural sugar. Understanding the difference between these two things is gonna be really important to our lesson today. So when we think of added sugar, we wanna think about just plain sugar as it comes. So this could be our regular white sugar, it could be honey, maple syrup, high fructose corn syrup, agave, raw sugar, a lot of things that have obviously either the name sugar or syrup or a word that ends in O-S-E like fructose. These are all things that are gonna be examples of different types of sugar. So what does added sugar do for us? What do all these different sugar products do for our health? We've all experienced the feeling when we eat something that's high in sugar, like a cookie or a bagel, it's gonna get us really excited and give us lots of energy for a short period of time. My question to you is, does sugar do anything else for our bodies? Does it have vitamins or minerals? Does it have protein? Does it have fiber? Does it have calcium? Any of those things that we've learned are good for us. Does sugar have any of those things? No, right? The only thing that sugar has is energy. And this is useful, we all need energy, but we also can get energy from other types of foods that have healthy things in them as well. So that's it for added sugar. Now let's think about this other one, natural sugar. So natural sugar is gonna be a part of our things like all fruits and some grains like rice or pasta, those have natural sugar. Dairy even has natural sugar. So our milk, yogurt, cheese, all of these things come with their own sugar. So to review this, I want you to go ahead and try to create a chart just like I did here. So on the side, we're gonna have a column for added sugar and natural sugar. And then across the top, we're gonna ask ourselves, does this have energy? Does this have vitamins? And does this have fiber? So go ahead and create your chart in whatever colors you want. You're gonna wanna have four lines across the top and then intersect that with two lines, kind of like a giant tic-tac-toe board. Once you got that going, do your best to find two different colored markers or colored pencils. I'm gonna go with red and green. So let's ask ourselves, added sugar. Does added sugar have energy? Yes, right? We talked about how sugar is gonna give us energy, whether it comes from added sugar or natural sugar. So go ahead and take one of your colors. I'm gonna choose red. And we're gonna say added sugar, yes. Added sugar has energy. Now the next column, does added sugar have vitamins? Think about what foods have vitamins. Our fruits and vegetables are really the ones that are highest in vitamins. So added sugar, things like white sugar, honey, brown sugar, these things are not gonna have any vitamins. So let's go ahead and put an X through that. All right, so finally, does our added sugar have any fiber? Fiber, let's think about that. Fiber is the thing that helps keep our digestive system running smoothly. It's really only fruits, vegetables, whole grains. These are the products that are high in fiber. Added sugar is not gonna have any fiber. So let's go ahead and X that through too, okay? So our added sugar, High in energy, no fiber, no vitamins. Now our natural sugar. So let's think about products that are high in natural sugar. 
what are examples of products that are high in natural sugar? We talked about fruits, we talked about grains like rice and pasta and bread, and then also our dairy products, milk, yogurt, cheese. These things can all have natural sugar. So back to our chart. Do things like fruits and grains, do they give us energy? They do, right? So let's go ahead and put a mark on that. Yes, yes to energy. Now, do fruits and grains and dairy products, do they have vitamins? Yes, definitely, right? Our fruits are gonna be high in all different types of vitamins. And even our dairy products are gonna be high in things like calcium, so that's super important. So let's give that a good check mark. And then finally, fiber. Do fruits have fiber? Do our grains, like certain types of rice and bread, do those have fiber? Yes, right? Fiber comes from plants. So things that grow in the ground are gonna be high in fiber. So look at what we have here. Our natural sugar is high in everything. It gives us energy, it gives us vitamins, it gives us fiber. So things that are high in natural sugar are okay for us to eat because it has so many great things for us. Whereas things that are high in added sugar, they really don't do much for us at all, except that they give us that energy. Okay, I can tell you're catching on, so let's move on to some real life examples. So I went ahead and went through my cabinets and I found two products that are gonna be both high in sugar, but for different reasons. So the first one we're gonna look at is graham crackers and we're gonna compare that to a little box of raisins that I have. So let's start with the raisins. The question we wanna ask ourselves, are these raisins high in added sugar or natural sugar? So when I'm looking at something like an apple, does the apple have our nutrition facts label or a list of ingredients like our products do that we talked about last week? No, right? There's no label on this at all. There's our little sticker that tells us where in the world our apple was grown but it doesn't have any information about its ingredients because we don't really need it. We know that it's an apple. There are no other ingredients in this food except for an apple. When something comes in a box, we don't know what they put into this box. That's why it's so important that we look at that list of ingredients. So on my box of raisins, it's gonna be really small over here, but this says ingredients, organic raisins. That's the only ingredient in this box, raisins. So now we can go back to our original question. Are these raisins high in natural sugar or added sugar? We're gonna say natural sugar, right? Because raisins come originally from grapes and grapes don't have any of our added sugar. It only has its own natural fruit sugar. Now, let's take the example of our graham crackers. So graham crackers, a little bit easier. It's gonna have our label nice and big in the back. And again, always our list of ingredients down here. So let's see what we got. We got unbleached enriched flour, graham flour, sugar, canola oil, molasses, palm oil, and salt. So out of all those ingredients, did you hear anything that had to do with sugar? I heard two examples. Sugar, obviously, which really refers to our white sugar. And then there was another one in there you might be familiar with, it's called molasses. Molasses is sort of like a really thick maple syrup. So there are two different types of sugar just in these graham crackers alone. So are we gonna say that this has added sugar or natural sugar? Added sugar, right? They added sugar, they added molasses to this product and that's why it tastes sweet. Not because the graham crackers naturally have sugar in them. They had to put it in separately so that it tastes sweet to us. So now here's your activity. I want you to get the okay from whoever you need in your house and go over to your kitchen. Look through the fridge, maybe the cabinets, and what you're looking for is a food that comes in a package. So this could be in a box, in a container, in a wrapper, something that's packaged and something that you think is probably sugary or sweet. So this could be perhaps um, a fruit yogurt, it could be a granola bar, it could be a cereal, it could be even some uh, crackers or cookies that you might have on hand. And then once you have that product, I want you to go ahead and flip it over to whatever is the back or the side of it. And again, remember, we're looking for this big white label. And then we need to look for that list of ingredients. And here's the task. You're gonna read that list of ingredients, that's number one. And then you're gonna go back a second time at that list of ingredients. And I want you to underline anything that's a natural sugar. 
So remember, this is gonna be something that comes from a fruit or a grain or a dairy product. All of these products should be underlined in that list. And then I want you to go back for a third time and I want you to circle anything that is an added sugar. So any word that has sugar in it, that has honey, that has syrup, that sounds like fructose, all of these things I want you to go and circle. So I've gone ahead and done mine. So I found that my sources of natural sugar were dates. Remember, date is a type of fruit. And then my sources of added sugar were cane sugar. All right? So go ahead and find your product and do the same thing. And if you'd like, you can send me a picture again of what your ingredient looks like after you've underlined and circled everything that you need to. Thanks for joining me again this week, guys. I'll see you next time.